Now we are going to talk about interface. Interface is like a skeleton for the class. It doesn't implement the functions. It just says what functions are needed in this class and what arguments should those functions have. Let me show you an example. I can define it like interface and then the name of the interface. I can say human, for example, and then human rather than humna, human. Then I just need to specify the name of the functions. For example, I can say, okay, this interface needs to have a public function with the name say name. And then it has to have a function with public function get age and this get age will have an integer year born as the argument that's it i don't need to specify anything else this is just a skeleton as you can see we have not implemented those functions we are just saying that if you are creating a human you should have this function with those arguments but inside a class, we can implement those functions and do everything else. So how can I tell my class that your skeleton should be like this interface that I have defined here? I can use the implement keyword. So let's say I have a class. This class is Amir and Amir is a human. So the structure should be like human as we have defined above. Right now, even my ID shows that I have an error. So let's see what PHP tells me when I run the code. Here, it tells me that class Amir contains two methods. Therefore, they must be declared, abstract, or implement the remaining methods. What does it mean? It means that here inside my class, I have to have two methods. Here, my ID PHP Storm is going to help me. PHP Storm is going to add them for me. If you are not using PHP Storm, you can simply define those functions yourself. I need a public function with the name say name. And I also need a public function with the name get age. And this get age should get an integer here. Now I don't get any error. If I run the code, no problem at all. Now the way you implement those functions are completely dependent on you and you cannot specify how you should implement a function inside the interface but as long as you have the same structure it's okay it's perfect now here for example i can say okay say name echo my name is amir and if i run get age i can say echo i am years old and inside that i can write okay date year minus date year minus this year born so i'm getting the year i am going to calculate it so if i create a new object like amir is new amir and inside this i say Amir, say name, I will get echo, my name is Amir, perfect, and if I run get age, and I specify, okay, 1994, this is going to calculate my age, I am 28 years old, perfect. We can have other methods inside this class, for example, a public fly echo. I can't fly public function fly I cannot fly okay so this Amir can also fly as you have noticed this fly function is not in the interface it doesn't matter I can have other methods inside my class but these two are required if i don't implement them i will get an error if i comment them out i will get an error because it says hey your class is structurally correct okay there is nothing wrong here but since you have said that it implements human interface 
you have to specify those functions as well now if I run it again it's going to work again so you might ask why should I write the interface I will write the class and set and I will write the functions there is no need to use the interface well in small projects when you are going to do all the coding yourself it might not matter but when your project gets a little bit bigger and other developers start working on it as well interface is like your savior it forces your code to keep organized and clean so anyone that comes and say okay I want to implement human they have to write these functions and then if you have some code in your function that uses this implementation they don't need to change anything because the functions are the same it's like you are defining a standard a contract for your code it's very good it's very important so keep practicing try to define different types of interfaces and use them in your projects now the last thing that we are going to talk about in this section is using multiple interfaces so let's say I have an interface for human I also have interface for programmers developers this developer interface should have methods for uh, programming language programming language and that's it so here I have a contract I have an interface called developer so every class that implements this developer must have a function which is public and the name is programming language so now if I want to use that in my class as well if I want to implement that as well I can simply add it the comma here Amir implements human and developer now I will get an error again why because the class must be declared abstract or implement method programming language so let's add that to our class here uh, public function programming language and here it says echo echo php perfect now our class works fine again now I can also say okay I'm your programming language and I will get I can't fly and PHP perfect this is how you can use multiple interface with your class this is the end of this section let's go to the next one